Hello friends, this video on common and its compound part 28 is brought to you by examfa.com No more fee per exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 27. Then, to overcome the soap problem that soap doesn't work properly with hard water, we got something called detergents. Detergent is appropriate when the water is hard. It works fine. And please note, both soap and detergent are cleansing agents. Both has a they are agent to clean, right? They, they are made for cleaning, so they are for cleaning agent. But these guys, detergent also works with hard water, right? And they are called soapless soap. They are soapless soap. They act like soap, but they don't contain sodium stearate. They don't have the long chain of carboxylic acid of sodium or potassium salts, right? And they don't form scum in hard water. They work perfectly fine in hard water also. Examples of detergent. Sodium and dodecyl benzene sulfonate is one. Sodium and dodecyl sulfate is another. These are some examples of detergent, though there are tons of detergent in the market. These are two examples of detergent. For detergent, we can have uh, one more activity. We have two test tubes, and uh, in in this both will put hard water. Again, if you don't have hard water, you can just put normal water and put the magnesium and uh, calcium ions. In this case, we use put soap and in this case, we use detergent. Then we we'll shake both, you'll find that this guy get foam and this guy no foam or very less foam. Correct? That, that's the activity you can do that. Correct? Now we have learned soap and detergent. Let's compare this soap and detergent. Soap is nothing but sodium or potassium salt of long chain of carboxylic acid. That's the chemical formula of this. And uh, detergent is sodium salt of long chain of benzene sulfonic acid. It's known as benzene sulfonic acid uh, or alkyl hydrogen sulfates. The ionic group is CONA here. Here it is, uh, spelling is wrong, ionic group is SO3 minus Na plus or SO4 minus Na plus. It is not suitable for washing in hard water. It works fine in hard water also. It is biodegradable. Some of them are not biodegradable. It is a weak cleansing agent. It is a strong cleansing agent. That's the difference between soap and detergent. We will also compare saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbon now. Saturated hydrocarbon, it gives a clean blue flame on complete combustion and on incomplete combustion it gives yellow shooty flame. Why? Because it has low percentage of carbon. Low carbon button. This guy gives a yellow shooty flame on combustion in air and this guy will give blue when, when burned in pure oxygen. Correct. It undergoes substitution reaction it undergoes addition reaction. The same thing, uh, for like, like chlorination is one example where it goes uh, substitution reaction. Here it goes for hydrogen hydrogenation where it adds hydrogen, or it also reacts with bromine also. It's unreactive, saturated. It is reactive. Now is the question time. Uh, would we be able to check if the water is hard by using detergent? No, because the detergent behaves exactly same with hard and soft water so there is no way to differentiate people use a variety of method to wash clothes usually after adding soap they beat the cloth on the stone or beat with scrub or brush right we use brush or stone right brush to scrub why why is agitation necessary this is necessary because as i told right the the soap those are so for misses so misses i have this dust right i have this dust it will form this missiles like this. It will form missiles like this. So missiles in this missiles, my dust is trapped, right? My dust is trapped. My dust is trapped, but this missile itself is trapped inside the cloth. So to kick this out, to kick the missile out of the cloth, we use uh, this guy, brush or stone, because this missile is is suspended as collide in water inside the clothes right to remove this missiles to remove missiles we use 
it, we use brush or stones or something like this. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.